live CSI drama is unfolding right now in a small, nondescript house just north of downtown Houston. Forget the TV show. This is the real deal where the first class of the Houston CSI Academy is at work. Sherman Chow joins us now with that story. Hey, Sherman. Hey, this is investigative work based on science, not television scripts, all part of the program to transition from having police officers as CSI investigators to having all civilian CSI investigators. This happening by the year's end. It's not a fashion shoot, it's a murder scene. A make-believe murder scene in a crime scene house, like on TV. A friend of mine had the CSI shows, and I started watching it, and I found it super fascinating. Jake Lambeth is one of the 13 trainees here who learn everything from videoing to lifting prints and documenting them. Apply a, uh, a substance that will add contrast so that it can be easily seen. We draw a diagram as to roughly where the prints were located on the object. So you have an idea of exactly what the orientation of the prints were. Candidates must have at least an undergraduate degree in science or criminal justice. Brianna Turner's degrees are in biology and forensic science. I realized that I did not want to be in a lab every day, all day. CSI investigators work side by side with Houston police officers. Taking pictures, you're documenting, you're taking notes. You're photographing, you're videoing, trying to figure out what happened. She likes this field because... Nothing is the same. Every scene is different. I wanted to be able to help people who couldn't help themselves. Their total coursework, 400 hours. They'll graduate on September 8th. The very next day, they hit the streets for field training where they will do the actual CSI work under supervision. What an amazing career path for them. Yeah, really inter interesting stuff as uh, some of us, you know, <laughs> some of us watch. <laughs> CSI, the next generation. There you yes. go. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs>